Hello YouTube, I am on Peter, and today I'd like to show you something that I think is kind of cool. So, um, I, I enjoy competitive programming, so therefore I know of several um, programming challenge websites, and I found this one quite recently, and I thought it was it was special it was especially neat. So, um, therefore I figured I'd go ahead and share it with you all, see what you guys think of it. So, when you come to the web page, you come to the you see this screen, and by the way, the website is codinggame.com. So it's spelled as if it were coding game, two words, except there's a single G in the center. Um, so once you get to the page, you can see this play option, where you can go ahead and click play. And then we come to this screen, I'm going to X out the chat, and you can go ahead and log in. For me, I'm going to go ahead and log in, you, you will be signing up, I assume. Once you're in, you can select your language, you have a variety of languages. And you're going to go ahead and skip the tutorial because I'm going to be walking through the tutorial. Alright, so the language I'm choosing is Java because that's what I'm most comfortable with. So this is what their IDE looks like. And they've never test cases over here to input to the game. So let's try this first one. So you can see I have enemy flying over to my turret. And right now the enemy has crashed into the turret and we lose, unfortunately. However, we need to write some code in here to make it work. So there's a little description. If you scroll down here, you can see some of the description. Um, it doesn't give you the full details. It actually gives you the solution. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and give you uh, tell you an idea of how this how this works. So um, there's a loop, right? And we scan in all our information in the loop. So the information we scan in is the name of one of the enemies, the distance to that enemy, name of the other enemy, and the distance to that enemy. And what you need to do in the game is to print out which enemy you're going to target. So we'd like to target, let's say we want to target, uh, target enemy 2. Uh, so we're going to print out enemy 2. And there we go. And now that we have that, we can t try that test case again. And now it should work because I happen to know that the enemy is enemy 2. So there we go. That's how we can pass the first test case. Let's see if our little solution works on the second test case. Who knows? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, it does not. So, um, it only shot the ones classified as enemy 2, and but not the ones classified as enemy 1. So, we have to really use this distance to solve the problem. And as I said earlier, it, we, it gives the pseudocode for, for the solution over here. So we'll go ahead and write that out. Now that you kind of get, get an imp I, the idea of how this works. So you just, you write code in here, you try the test cases, and the goal is, to, once you get all the test cases, you're, you're golden. And this is, like I said, I think this is really cool because you get this um, visual feedback, which you don't get from a lot of other programming challenge websites. However, it works the same as, I guess, a more a more professional programming um, challenge website. It works the same in that, you know, you put in code, there's a bunch of test cases. And there's also a console where you can debug, I guess. So, yeah. So we'll go and type out the solution. So we want to fire at whichever one's the closest. So if just one happens to be closer, we want to print out any one. And if enemy two happens to be closer, print out enemy two. And there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit play all test cases and see if it works. Mm -hmm. So first test case, yeah, that works. Second test case, yeah, that worked. And third test case, yes, it worked. There we go, so now I have completed this challenge. I, I am somewhat of an authority on programming now because I managed to finish this challenge. So now that we got it, we can hit submit. And now, once it's validated, of course, and now we can see that it works. So I got 100% because I because it worked for all the test cases. I got a couple of achievements, and here's my finishing code. And yeah, so pretty pretty cool. Um, so of course they have much more of these. This is just the training one. Um, if, you click, if you click games, and then view games over here under single player, you can see all different challenges you have. And it's very good practice to go through and try and solve as many as possible. Um, yeah, so I, you see I've, I've done a couple. See, I've done a couple. So, and I also have my profile, which I'm very proud of. I am. I have reached mentor status. And never. So, 
It's pretty cool. It's more than public profile. Like, yeah, it's a public profile. So yeah, I would think it would be really neat if some of you guys could go and join this website and try and solve code problems of your own. Um, my profile is Aaron Peter. So let's see if if I want to look up other profiles. You can you can look me up by heading over to leaderboards and searching up Aaron Peter. And and for some reason I need to click over here to make it refresh. There. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. There you go. You can find me in that manner. And um, let me know if you guys decide to sign up. I'd like um, and and you can put your usernames down in the comments so that way I can compete with you guys and see if I can maintain a higher level. That would, I think that'll be fun. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Please check this out. I think it's a pretty cool, a pretty cool idea. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys next time in another tutorial.